Right, good day learners. In question 37, you're going to find that you won't be able to complete the income statement. There are some figures that they don't give you any information from and you don't calculate in the normal way. In other words, you actually have to work backwards. Um, you have to know the principles under which an income statement works and be able to use those principles to find the missing figures. Now obviously the principles I'm talking about is that your sales less your cost sales gives you gross profit. You add on your income and you get your gross income. You minus all your expenses and you get your operating profit. You add your interest income and then you minus your interest expense and you get the final figure. Now if you look at this exercise now I've and what I've done now is all the adjustments are on as they've given it to us but there's some missing figures and the first thing you're going to have to do is they say to you that the operating expenses as a percentage of turnover after all adjustments was 27 percent and they say to you, use this to calculate the missing sundry expenses now on the original sheet sundry expenses amount was not given to you and so you can't go and add your list of expenses to get your operating expenses here. What you are told that this operating expenses is 27% of your turnover. So this is using ratios in a reverse to find the missing figures. So instead of asking you to calculate what percentage operating expenses or sales are, they're telling you that this figure is 27% of that. So on your calculators, just work out 27% of that, and you'll get your operating expenses, remember, which was come in a bracket, remember your brackets now, of 113184. Once you've got that 11384, then, first of all, you can get your sundry expenses, because you now know that this total of this block must equal that. So if you add up all these missing figures, all these figures subtracted from the 113184, you'll find your missing sundry expenses, which is 19065. The principle being that this block, all your expenses must add up to that. So if you add up what you've got, you can find the missing figure. Likewise, you've now got your gross income. That came through from your normal adjustments. You've just got your operating expenses, and so you can get your operating profit here by minusing the two away from each other, and you get 55961. Right, so that was the first part. They then told you that the business received interest on the fixed deposit. And you need to calculate the missing figure using the net profit that's filled in on the income statement. Now, in most exercises up to now, you've had to calculate down and find the net profit. But in this case, they've given it to you. So let's just go back on the principle. Our operating profit plus our income equals the profit before interest expense. The interest is in brackets, so we minus equals the final figure. And so now you must work backwards. You've been given the net profit. We've calculated the interest. So to work backwards, we're going to add these two together. 50,510 plus 6885 and we will get the figure of 57395. So that's just taking those two and adding them together. Then you would have had your operating profit plus your income gives you that. And so your interest income is the missing figure, 1434. Four. Now, as you work through your exercises and as you get to exam type of questions, as you go into grade 11 and 12, you're going to find this skill is tested a lot. So in other words, you do need to know how what gets added and what gets subtracted and be able to work it backwards.